Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Obviously, age has a role in uh, people's uh, cognitive and physical abilities. That's a fact. You can turn it however you want. With time, uh, we lose some uh, abilities, physical, as I said, and cognitive abilities. Uh, some people, uh, you know, lose them faster and uh, to a higher degree, some people slower and to a lower degree. But we do that. That's a fact. You will not keep your, you're not going to maintain your faculties, mental faculties and physical abilities with age. You lose them. We have President Biden here and President Biden, through his behavior, observed behavior, empirical observation, uh, showed us that he is not fit I think physically and mentally. He falls like a little mofo whenever he's uh, on a, a flat uh, surface. Uh, his, uh, you know, speeches are as they are. He sometimes imagines stuff. Uh, I, I mean, by, as I said, empirical observation, he is in big, big decline physically and mentally. I would say mentally first and physically a little bit follows. Now, uh, as a president, you wouldn't want, uh, you know, uh, as a citizen, you don't want the president to be like that. You want, and you ought to have, that's a requirement, a job requirement to have a fit president, you know, mentally and physically. You know, uh, uh, men sana in corpore sana. That is, uh, you know, a healthy brain in healthy uh, body. But here we have uh, unhealthy, and un not unhealthy, uh, you know, decreased into decreased let's put it uh, mildly euphemistically so youtube doesn't grab me by the balls so even if it grabs me i'm gonna all right so uh let's move on uh, biden's approval ratings are in the uh, low 40s 43 was per cnn uh, i made a video a minute ago regarding his uh, approval rating and Putin's, dictator Putin's approval ratings, which are in like 76 and Biden's are about 41 or 43, depending on what kind of poll you get. doesn't really matter. It doesn't go above 43 and Putin doesn't go above 76. It's almost double, however you want to take it. And that dictator, this guy is the great leader of the Western world. And they say, no, 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 the mass media here says, no, 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 that doesn't have anything to do with age. Well, if that would have nothing to do with age, that Biden has, you know, a little bit of a problem, they made an opinion poll here, they conducted, and they found out that only 3% of the Americans want an elderly per, uh, person as the president. 3%, that means 97, no, no, no. So then put that with a 43 approval rating. So that should be probably even lower than that. But 3%. And I'm going to show you here this little poll. And we're going to see what kind of brackets and what the, preferent, uh, the, the preferred age for a president would be. And I totally agree with that, um, with that um, age. And I will tell you why I agree. And uh, I'm not the only one stating that. It doesn't mean that if we're uh, more, it, it makes it true. I'm not a believer as now they try to put it, uh, uh, shove it uh, on, down our throats that democracy is also in charge of the truth. Uh, if we have 50 people here and one person here, just because you have 50 here, it must be true because they are, see, everyone says that. I disagree with that. And as an example, you can always use Galileo Galilei, uh, whatever he did. Remember what he did? He was against all these guys and he was right. And they say, well, the scriptures are saying that. Uh, no, no, but the Ptolemaic uh, vision of the uh, universe says that. Uh, look at us, look at you. All right, so that you can use in the counter argument. Only 3% of Americans want elderly president opinion poll finds around half of those surveyed said the head of state should be in the 50s i would say yes and possibly uh that's a fact again a fact it's it, uh, even if you use uh, reality here on youtube you you're afraid to state it because you don't know if these guys know it and not only if they know it if they agree with what it's true 
remember now it is not only two there's more than that so the same here uh with time people become more conservative not in the ideological views no but they they're going to drive slower they're not going to be so courageous in doing certain things they lose this kind of ah you know you can say well they become wiser that's true but they become wiser and their actions become uh, more prudent to the point where mo too much prudence prud prudence prudency prudence uh, goes into cowardness so above see, i'm not saying if you're a 60 or 70 you're a coward just get out of the table here boom okay but it's a tendency towards that that uh, that uh, situation so if you go over 60 and that's another guy who said it now that he's right but i'm just mentioning here for informational purposes the guy who said well i have to invade uh if i want to have a war i have to have it before i reach uh i don't know 55 or so and he did and he ended up <laughs> as he ended up with ppk in his head right all right so the overwhelming majority of americans believe that the country should not be run by an elderly president a poll by pew research center has revealed only 3% of respondents said they wanted someone in their 70s or older in the Oval Office, according to a study which came out on Thursday. Now, I don't want to be a bad guy, but that will be. How many people in the population are over 70 and older? 3%? <laughs> Just kidding, my friends. Don't get mad with me now. Age 80, currently U.S. President Joe Biden is the oldest ever American leader. His main rival in next year's presidential election is Donald Trump, who turned 77 in June. Too old, too, but hey. Uh, the authors of the poll noted that they did not specifically mention Biden or Trump when asked people about the ideal age for the head of state. However, according to the poll, Americans are also unlikely to have faith in young presidents for the same reason. Uh, immature you know, and too reckless. The US Constitution dictates that the White House occupant must be at least 35 years of age. I agree with that. I agree with that. I would put it more, though I would be up to about 40 at least. And only 3% of those surveys say they wanted the head of state to be in their 30s. 3%. Wow. In the 30s. Okay. Almost half of the respondents, 49%, believe that the president should be someone in the 50s someone in the 50s in their 50s another 24 percent say they'd like the head of state to be in their 60s where 17 percent opted for someone in their 40s the poll showed well because in the 50s you're not too uh uh how should i put it uh, i don't want to insult you guys because i know that some of you might be older than 50 but i have to say certain things that it's not me saying it is just based on research and reality at 60, you become more knowledgeable than the 50. But as I said, certain kind of, uh, I'm not talking about that kind of virility, but the certain kind of, you know, uh, energy, I'm going to put it energy, you know, slows down. And then you are going to be more conservative in smacking someone if needed be. You know, oh, no, let's talk. Too defensive, too defensive. Uh, like it was, what's his name, Chamberlain? Uh, the Prime Minister of Great Britain, we, he appeased uh, Adolf, remember when he came from the Munich conference with a piece of paper on the airport, a piece of our time, Herr Hitler did this and Herr Hitler did that, and Hitler was like, <laughs> anyway, and Hitler was what, in the 49, how old was he? In, in 40, uh, when, that was I think in 38 or when it was the Munich conference, anyway. 39 38 37 not 39 i think so anyway what's going on here views about the ideal a presidential age were similar among democrats and republicans the study pointed out why because they looked at the physiology not on ideology that's why they met people around them and they you know they interacted the research was carried out was carried out on june 5 to 11 among 5115 adults a poll last month by cnn slash ssrs revealed that 36 percent of americans are against biden and trump running in the 2024 election a race between the two would be something a historic number of americans don't want cnn stated well they're against because they're dumb or because they're old or because they're what 
I need more of that uh, information. But anyway, so this is it, my friend. Three percent, my friend. Three percent. I think it should be between. I shouldn't think it should be somewhere in the fifties. Uh, not not sixties. Sixties, sixty-six. It depends because you see, we're not all. Oh, let's say I'm fifty-five. Let's say, and uh, we all fifty-five year olders are the same at the same level. No, some of us, you know, uh, lose a certain thing earlier and to a higher extent, uh, some others not. So that's why. But, you know, on, as an average, uh, if you just look at an ideal, and I agree with that, 40s could be 48, 49, but again, some people are better than the other ones, accumulate more during their lifetime. The problem is life experience gives you something on top of the you know, experience you accumulate to reading, lectures, uh, conversations and all that. You need certain things come with time. I've been told that when I was much younger. He said, yeah, yeah, he, this guy in particular, said, yeah, yeah, you read all these books. Yes, yes, you have this, but certain things you can't speed up. I was like, you're old, that's why you say that. That's how I was thinking. <laughs> I said, you're old, yeah, that's why. Like you see, some, sometimes you got an old man telling you, oh, man. When you're gonna be my age, you can't even tie your shoes and uh, I'm so tough. You're like, shh, shh, okay. So same here. I was like, yeah, 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 okay. But it's true. It's true. As I got older and older, I got to certain conclusions that I was like, man, I feel this now. And it runs against something I thought that, or I feel it differently. Because you understand it if it's something that's coming from within. Now you can say, well, it's just a repetition and it goes into your subconscious. And then all of a sudden it comes out and you say, oh man, what's this? This is experience. Could that be too? The fact is, um, with time you understand and become more knowledgeable, sometimes more flexible, sometimes more rigid in uh, society and so on. Because you go through certain things. When you are younger, you sometimes tend to be more, oh no, my God, I'm like, I'm virtuous and so on. Nobody should do this, everybody should do this and all that. And when you get older and you fuck up a few times, you really become more humble and say, well, a second, it seems like even he did that, he did that, he did that, where I admire that guy, I had to idolize that guy and they all did it. So that means it's kind of like a general stuff. You know, uh, remember when uh, when people tell you, well, when we don't lie and don't lie when you're a kid, don't lie, don't lie. When you grow older, you realize even your parents lie or lied. So you say, wait a minute, these are the, the humans that I, uh, you should, obviously, if they deserve, uh, they deserve, if they deserve, because they could be abusers and others, uh, other uh, stuff. If even these guys lied. Who else doesn't? Why should I believe that that guy over there doesn't, but my parents uh, lie? You know, you realize by experience that, yeah, don't lie. All right, don't lie, but, you know, it's better to tell the truth because uh, you don't have to justify it. Uh, everything else is going to justify it. That's, it should be, you know. Uh, if you lie, you have to justify, you have to hide, you have to do it, it's a lot of stress, it's this and that. Uh, but anyway, uh, we're lying because we are weak. That's why we lie. We are weak and we want an advantage by not deserving that advantage or we want to avoid a punishment uh, that we deserve and we're too coward to say, yes, I did it. I take responsibility. Okay, I deserve that. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.